This knot is the reef knot or the square knot. Both names are used commonly, both names are acceptable. Generally, the application for this knot is we are attaching two ropes of similar or same diameter together. Just attaching two ropes of similar or same diameter together. A specific application that uh, you will have probably already learned for using this knot is in first aid if you are tying a narrow bandage using it uh, either to apply a dressing or to attach a splint to your buddy's leg. Uh, the finishing knot should be a reef knot or a square knot. Advantages of this knot, easy to tie and easy to untie. It's also typically a secure knot, but I have seen it fail in applications where there is alternating slack and tension in the rope, slack and tension, slack and tension. I have seen this knot work its way undone. So the steps for tying this knot. Two ropes, similar, same diameter, one in each hand. Just going to start off just like tying our shoes. The one in the left hand comes over the one in the right hand and we wrap. Second step is the reverse of that. The one in the right hand comes over the one in the left hand and we wrap. But it's the same step, just mirror image or reverse. When you tighten, this is what you get. This knot looks the same on the top as it does on the bottom. You can see any one of these knots goes through the loop of the other, wraps around both strands of the other, comes back through the loop. Looks the same on either side. If you attach two loops together, just a loop-to-loop -loop connector, that's the same knot you get right there. So, just going to tie that one more time. One rope in each hand. We're working with the bitter end. Left over right and wrap. Right over left and wrap. And there you have it. I'm going to do it one more time just to give you a different saying if you like. The uh, left over right and right over left is instructional, but this one will help you if it doesn't feel good, it shouldn't the second time around. You've tied this one all of your life as you started to tie your shoes, so that one feels right. This one is awkward, so that one feels wrong. So when you're making the two wraps, one feels right, one feels wrong, then you've got it. So this is the finished reef knot or square knot. What I want to show you now is something that we will use on many of the knots that we're going to tie. And it's a way to secure the knot. Typically we'll use one, two, or three half hitches to secure a knot. And to make a half hitch, take this working end of the rope, wrap it around the standing part of the rope, and you create a little hole and you're just going to pass that through the hole itself. So that's a single half hitch. Often, if we had more line or different knots, we might do two or three. But that is a half hitch. That's what we're going to use often to secure a knot. If you have a three-stranded twist rope, there's a great way to secure knots by taking this bitter end. And by securing it, we just don't want this bitter end to be able to work its way through and untie the knot. We want to somehow stop that from happening. If you split your twist so you have one of the strands twisted apart from the other two, take the bitter end and just force it through that hole you've created. Now what you have is a situation where this standing part of the rope, the more it is pulled, the tighter it is pulled, the more it clamps down on that bitter end, so the less chance the bitter end has of working its way through and untying the knot. So quite simply to do that again, you're just going to split the twist, force the bitter end through, and then that's it. That's your security on a three-strand rope.